Why do you need standard operation procedures even when you're running your business on your own? My name is Tineke Rensen. I'm from Powerful Business Academy. I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income within a year, guaranteed. Now that's cool, isn't it? I even pay you back your money if you don't make it. So about standard operation procedures. Why do you need them when you're on your own? Now, I used to have huge business. Uh, I sold that and then, so I was used to doing standard operation procedures. Then I sold my, the, the business, I was doing everything on my own. And I thought, ha, I don't need that anymore. But what happened is I started making mistakes, repetitive tasks, which sometimes a task uh, exists of 10, 15 different things you need to do. I started forgetting one or started making mistakes. And then I had something to make myself wrong and everything. So you, well, you know how it goes. We're very critical. We're very sensitive about what we do wrong. Uh, we have all these antennas about ourselves. So standard operation procedures will help you make less mistakes, feel more in control, have more peace of mind and do things quicker and easier. So what is standard operation procedures? It's a checklist with everything that you do. It's not a to-do list. A to-do list are all the tasks you're doing. A standard operation procedure is one of these tasks which is repetitive, which will be there every week or every day, and you have written it out. What are the sub areas that you need to work on within this task? Now, I had those checklists when I was organizing events uh, because it happened that I forgot my books or that I forgot a banner or that I didn't have the guest list with me. So in that case, it's a checklist. Um, I had this for when I was speaking somewhere. Um, I had a, a, a template email with attached images of myself, a little bio about myself, a checklist for them. What do I need when I arrive? I need a beamer, I need a voice, I need this and everything, a list. Uh, I need their personal phone number, all of the, all of the things. It was just an operation procedure. And when they responded, I could go to the next. Uh, put their phone number in my phone, put it on the list that I print out. When I get in my car and there is the address, there is the phone number, there is the time, everything. Um, now this may seem a lot of work. Well, only once. At one point, you need to sit down Go over every single thing that you do. So mirror yourself, look closely, what am I doing? And then you write it all down and create a checklist. It's really easy. And you know, at some point when you're, when you're sick and somebody else needs to take over, you can just print out a checklist and say, oh, well, here it is. And then it would be helpful if the resources are there as well. Where can they find something? Now, delegating to team is a whole other story. Then you definitely need SOPs because that makes things a lot easier for you. It saves you a lot of time. It's a lot more comfortable for your staff because they, can, uh, they, can, they have a, re a research to, to go back to and uh, it will prevent them from making mistakes and you from getting frustration with them. But that's a different story. So if you are serious about scaling and growing your business, you need to know that this is just one, one little topic. And it might seem a minor topic. I think all topics are really important when you scale and grow your business. We have the Women's Business Blueprint for Business Success and it's nine areas that you need to work on. And SOPs is just one sub area of the area acceleration power. And there's nine areas you need to work on if you're serious about scaling and growing your business. Now, if you want to know if you're ready for that and if you want to double your income within a year guaranteed, 
then why don't we just schedule a quick 15 minute call? I don't know you, well, you know a little about me maybe, and you can research me online. Um, but in the 15 minutes, I promise you, I will not be selling to you. I will be dedicated and committed to help you and serve you. And I want to know who you are, what's your business like and whatever. And if I am convinced that you're the kind of person that I can guarantee and take a risk, uh, because if we are not doing this, doubling your business within a year, it's a collaboration, I'll pay you back your money. So schedule the call, the link is in the, in the uh, description uh, down here. All right, I hope you've learned something today. Uh, give me a thumb. Go and check out my Facebook group because I'll be doing a live there every week at 10 a.m. in the morning, European Standard Time. And then you can ask me questions about the topic. Well, I've just did a half hour in depth about SOPs. All right, bye bye for now.